In this video we are going to unbox the new 2016 MacBook Pro. This is the 13 inch with touch bar model. And here we have the box, that's the top, the side says MacBook Pro, Apple logo on the other side, MacBook Pro, Apple logo on the other side. Now let's open it up. Okay, now that the film is removed, let's open it up and see what's inside. Okay, here we have the MacBook Pro notebook. Whenever I get a new unit, I always try to set everything aside and keep in mind that I may someday resell it when I upgrade. So, I like to set everything aside. So here we have the laptop itself. We'll do an up-close look here in just a second and uh, compare it uh, with my current MacBook Pro. Here we have a USB-C cable. The charger. This is a 61 watt USB-C charger. I don't believe there's anything on the underside of the case. Yeah. I haven't bought a Mac in a while, so forgive me for trying to open stuff up. Here we have instructions. New Apple stickers. I don't believe I have these on my new car yet, so... And these are just basic instructions about where everything is. Thunderbolt, headphone, touch bar, FaceTime camera, touch ID, and uh, all that simple stuff. So these are just the, uh, the basic instructions. So now that we've unboxed it, let's uh, power it on and uh, get that going. Just open the lid, and I'm going to remove this screen covering. And this is what I'm greeted with whenever I power on. And now we are at the setup screen. So here we're going to select the language, which is English. You can see that the touch bar is actually already active. And displaying settings such as volume, brightness, escape key. Mac OS contains a built-in screen reader called VoiceOver. If you know how to use VoiceOver, press the command key button. I'm going to select the United States keyboard. I'm going to, now I'm going to connect to a Wi-Fi network. It's asking now about if I want to transfer information to this Mac. I'm actually not doing a time machine backup. For this one, I'm going to be doing a clean install and uh, manually copying files over from a flash drive. Um, so for now, I'm not going to transfer any information. I do want to enable location services. And now this is where I'm going to sign in with my Apple ID. Just verified my Apple ID, so now I'm going to accept the terms and conditions. I just created my computer account and now it looks like it's setting up iCloud. 
Okay, now it's asking for uh, File Vault Disk Encryption. Now this is something new. I haven't seen this before on uh, on a Mac uh, that I've had. So I'm going to turn it on because it sounds like a good thing. And if I have any problems, I can go back and do that later. I'm going to store files from documents and desktop and iCloud Drive. Sure. Sounds good. Uh, diagnostics. Sure. Sounds good. Enable Siri. Sure, sounds good. Touch ID works for me. Okay, now for Touch ID, I'm going to show you this. It's saying lift and rest your finger on Touch ID repeatedly. I'm I'm not going to do my thumb because it seems like using a thumb could be awkward, so I'm actually going to use my uh, my index finger. zoom out and see what that's going to look like. Oh, without touching it. having to lift and steadily replace my finger down on there so it can capture the outsides of my fingers. Now it says Touch ID is ready. Apple Pay, yes I do plan on using that. Okay, I think we've got everything configured. Now it says setting up my Mac. Let's see what happens next. And we are in. Someone asked me to do a comparison of the size of this new Pro and my old 2011 Pro. I would say it's definitely thinner than what I've, what I've been using in the past. I am going to miss all my ports. Thinner, much thinner. Uh, no more optical drive, but not like I ever used it. And the... Uh, If I can get it in the frame. The light up apple is gone. Now there's this uh, reflective apple. Um, I am going to miss the light up apple, but I I'm sure I'll be just fine. So that is unboxing and setup of the new 2016 MacBook Pro with Touch Bar. It is a, uh, a beautiful machine. Uh, I think they did a fantastic job with it. I know it's got a lot of hate um, on the interwebs, but you know people don't always like change. Um, but I love it. I think it's beautiful. You can see here the touch bar is already displaying Siri, volume, brightness, and over here, the escape key. It still exists. <laughs> I'm sure there's other videos that have more functionality and stuff like that. One of the issues I've been hearing with the new Mac is the uh, lack of ports. And, uh, you know, that's something that I have issues with because a lot of things I do require the old USB ports, SD card readers, all that stuff. So in this video I want to show um, this device that I got because I think it's really neat. This is the uh, Satechi uh, USB-C hub. Now this one doesn't have a pass-through. There's one with a pass-through but I got this one because it has more USB ports. Um, you got three USB ports, SD, micro SD. And this one comes in silver so it looks comparable to the uh, color of this MacBook. Now plugging in this hub you can see it's, you can plug it in there or there. I'm just going to plug it in right there. See a little light comes on and now I have USB, um, SD, anything I need. And what's great about this new MacBook is that you have US, uh, USB-C ports on both sides. So I can have this port here and then I can access charging on the other side of my Mac or USB-C ports for anything else I need.